Chief of Ukraine's General Staff Anatoly Bagilevich and Ukrainian Deputy Prime Minister Olga Stefanishina seem more interested in begging the White House to allow Kiev to strike deep into Russia than discuss any kind of peace plan in the United States. Russian Nezovizimaya Gazeta media outlet reported this. It is noted that French Minister of the Armed Forces Sebastien Lecornu has already announced that his country will send its Mirage 2000 multi-role fighter jets equipped with air-to-surface missiles to Kiev. Retired Russian Lieutenant General Yuri Netkachev recalls that Ukrainian pilots are currently being trained and will complete their training in France by the end of 2024, and the fighters delivered to Ukraine will be equipped with new air-to-ground weapons. It is still unknown how many mirages Paris will deliver to Kyiv and what specific weapons these multi-role fighters will have. According to Open Data, France has produced over 600 of these aircraft. This summer, French President Emmanuel Macron announced that his country would deliver upgraded fourth-generation Mirage 2000 to five fighters to Ukraine. This is a modernized export version. About 50 Mirage 2000-5 units were delivered to China. The French Air Force has about 100 Mirages, including about 30 Mirage 2000-5F aircraft. It is from this series that the fighters for Ukraine will most likely be delivered. These aircraft can be equipped with MICA-EM guided missiles with an active radar homing head capable of destroying air targets at a distance of up to 50 kilometers on the fire and forget principle. Since Le Cornu reported that the fighters for the Ukrainian armed forces will be equipped with air-to-ground weapons, the Mirages may use AM-39 missiles, which have a range of up to 70 kilometers. It is also possible to use the French low observable cruise missile Scalp-EG modifications of which are capable of hitting targets at a distance of up to 560 kilometers. That is, they can hypothetically reach the capital region of the Russian Federation. The Ukrainian armed forces already use Storm Shadow Dash Scalp EG on Ukrainian Su-24 fighters. One of Kiev's goals is to draw NATO into a confrontation with the Russian Federation, Netkachev believes. This goal will be achieved if the alliance countries officially allow Kiev to fire its missiles deep into Russian territory. The consequences could be dire. After all, Russia has the means and the methods to effectively respond to such aggression. Every night the group of men from Ukraine's 126 Territorial Defense Brigade mount a gun on the back of a pickup truck, drive into an open field in the southern Kherson region and wait for a call from the command to try and take down Russia's latest aerial assault. The unit responsible for trying to combat Russia's drone attacks on this part of Ukraine's 1,000 km frontline is led by the chief sergeant who goes by the call sign Kondrat. Kondrat, who like other men in the unit spoke to the Associated Press on condition only their first names or call signs be used, says with Russia constantly changing the type of drones they are using the team needs to continually adapt what they're doing. When the enemy gets new means of destruction such as Lancet drones, and FPV drones that are being modernized and are being used both during day and night as well as for longer distances, so it's getting harder and harder to predict what you have to prepare yourself for, Kondrat said. Equipped with just a large caliber Browning machine gun and a searchlight, he says his unit constantly feels the need for portable air defense missile systems which they don't have. He says Russians have been flying drones higher than 2 kilometers above them and that's further than their machine gun can shoot. Kondrat and his small mobile group joined territorial defense in the early days after Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February in 2022. We are on a shift during the day and if there is a threat of kamikaze drones we are deploying, said Chief Sergeant, Machine Gunner Dennis who goes by the call sign, Barmaliai. We mostly work during the night. During the day we rest, managing our weapons and means of transportation so they operate properly and don't fail us during the night, he added. The work is exhausting. Russia has been increasingly using Shahid drones to target civilians and energy infrastructure. Overnight Thursday alone, Russia launched 62 kamikaze drones across the whole of Ukraine. Only 41 were brought down. It's not easy to get some rest here. And if we are talking about moral condition, I saw not that many people who can say that they are happy to be at war, or that they are happy that the war is happening," Kondrat said. 
We are trying to support each other, we talk constantly, trying to help each other. But despite that, we are in an alert state constantly, ready for combat. We don't have other options, he added. Основное у нас забладнання в мобільній воневій групі це є крупнокаліберний кулемет Браунінг М2 за те, що нам наші партнери нам надали. А, також для виявлення противника у нас є засоби, такі як а, прожектор пошуковий дальністю дії на один кілометр. Thank you. 